the state emblem of the Soviet Union Russian, Gosudarstvenij Gerb Sovetskogo Suza tr. Gosudarstvenij Gerb Sovetskogo Soyaza, IPA, S. Dars TV Njerp Svetsiv S. Jews was adopted in 1923 and was used until the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. Although it technically is an emblem rather than a coat of arms, since it does not follow traditional heraldic rules, in Russian it is called gerb, gerb the word used for a traditional coat of arms. It was the first state insignia created in the style known as socialist heraldry, a style also seen in emblems of other socialist countries such as the emblem of the People's Republic of China. History Topic. Creation of the emblem In the autumn of 1922, the Commission for the Development of Soviet Symbolics began its work in Goznik. In those days, compositions of the first Soviet brands and banknotes were created. On January 10, 1923, the Presidium of the Central Executive Committee of the USSR established a commission for the development of the state emblem and flag. At the same time, the CEC defined the main elements of the state symbols of the Union, the sun, the sickle and hammer, the motto, Proletarians of all countries, unite. In February 1923, the order for the creation of the coat of arms was handed over to Gosnik. The artists of Gosnik presented their variants, sketches of the projects of the coat of arms of artists D. S. Golyadkin, Ya, B. Dreyer, N. N. Kocheri, V. D. Kuprianov, P. Rumyantsev, Ag Yakumchenko, I. Shadra. An interesting project was presented by artist K. I. Dunin Berkovsky. He, as an adherent of classical heraldry, represented the coat of arms of the USSR as a heraldic shield with a sickle and a hammer. <laughs> Rejected proposals <laughs> <laughs> Successful proposals The project by the head of the Artistic and Reproduction Department of Gosnik, V. N. Adrianov, is very close to the design of the officially approved state emblem of the Soviet Union. He suggested that the image of the should be included in the coat of arms. The globe should mean that access to the Soviet Union is open to all states of the world. On June 28, 1923, he replaced the previously planned monogram, Cesar, with a red star at the top of the proposed emblem. Topic. Approval The design of the successful proposed emblem was redrawn by Ivan Dubasov. In his first draft, slogans were placed on a red ribbon covering the lower part of the coat of arms. Then it was decided to place mottos in six languages on the tape interceptions. Topic. First version 1923 The project of the first version of the state emblem was accepted on 6 July 1923 by the second session of the Central Executive Committee and the version was completed on September 22 of that year. This design was fixed in the 1924 Soviet Constitution. The state emblem of the USSR is composed of a sickle and a hammer on a globe depicted in the rays of the sun and framed by ears of wheat, with the inscription, Proletarians of the world, unite. In six languages, Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian, Georgian, Armenian, Azerbaijani. At the top of the emblem is a five-pointed star. The emblem was created by Vladimir Adrianov and finished by Ivan Dubasov. In 1931, Tajik was added after the formation of the Tajik SSR in 1929. Second version 1936 to 1946. According to the 1936 Soviet Constitution, the USSR consisted of 11 republics. Hence the major new version's difference from the previous one was 11 ribbons bearing USSR state motto inscriptions in 11 languages. The languages added were Turkmen, Uzbek, Kazakh, Kyrgyz and Tajik. Topic. Third version 1946 
The number of republics in the USSR became 16 after September 1939, before the Great Patriotic War began in June 1941, but the state emblem was changed to reflect this only after the war. By a decision of Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR on June 26, 1946, all 16 constituent republics were represented on the emblem. The USSR state motto was inscribed on 16 ribbons in 16 languages. Inscriptions in Azerbaijani, Turkmen, Uzbek, Tajik, Kazakh, Kyrgyz languages were updated due to the transfer from Latin to Cyrillic script of the respective languages within the USSR. Also, several languages from new republics were added, Estonian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Moldavian, and Finnish. Topic. Fourth and final version 1956 In 1956, the Karelo-Finnish SSR was transformed into the Karelo-Finnish ASSR, and soon this was reflected on the USSR state emblem. By a decision of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR on September 12, 1956, the ribbon bearing the USSR state motto in Finnish was removed. A minor change in the Belarusian inscription was a decision of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR on April 1, 1958. Inscriptions on the ribbons, which are translated into English as "Proletarians of the World, Unite," are as follows. Topic. Description The state emblem shows the traditional Soviet emblems of the hammer and sickle and the red star over a globe, and two wreaths of wheat covered by "...workers of the world, unite." In the official languages of the Soviet republics, in the reverse order they were mentioned in the Soviet constitution. Each Soviet Republic SSR and Autonomous Soviet Republic ASSR had its own coat of arms, largely inspired by the state emblem of the Union. Topic Gallery. Topic See also. Coats of arms of the Soviet republics. State quality mark of the USSR. Coat of arms of Russia. Topic References.